Actually, HFN in the bot lane, just trying to hang out with Kuroki here, but there is a rotation around. Match can get across. This is an easy kill. He's hanging around as well. I think, yeah, HFN, you need to move quick here because there's going to be a lot of trouble. The Gale, it touches on, and now he'll go for the TP out. They still don't have a level into Concoction yet. Uh, he did not TP back to the fountain. GH. Wow. Uh, he did, he did not TP back to the fountain. Oh, he missed it. Oh, oh my god. Very oh, the very fire. He picked up a ring of regen as well. <laughs> it's this brilliant coming out from right, him. Ring ring You're good now. You're good. He's like, okay, it's just, I've got everything I need here, guys. All right, that was sick. Cut off arms. He's careful and get the blink out. Correct. Where is he? Where is he? He's running. Oh, he's oh, going to oh, no. what? Oh, what? No way. Tiny gets caught out there. Oh, my God. That timing was so unfortunate. Oh, mid lane. Oh, mid lane. There's a bigger fight about to happen. Maybe no King RD. Trying to chase through. They're going to kill him GH. That's a nice little kill him. Oh, he almost got away with that. Actually, he's going to wait for the, he's going to wait for the repel. He gets this. Oh, he's going to pull in. He actually finds King R. Nice kill. No split push like to happen now. Maybe we just finish your base, they say. The hoop stop. Luna, five a strike. No escape by the oh, oh, ARP. Blast, and they just disappear. GG gets caught. Pain tap out. They're like, no way, no more. We've had enough. And they do this. Sentry's down. They'll go in straight away with the snowball. And is going to get caught up by the first stun. He does have the time that's available if he needs it. In fact, he's just turning for that, punching into S4 now. He'll go for the laps. Looks towards S4. S4 gets the silence out. Envy incredibly low, running himself back through the tree line. OG, they're hunting. They've got the sigil upon him. S4, quick with the face shift. S4 falling incredibly low. And S4 is going to fall. They're going to get the kill. Jerex now trying to get out of there, but he may fall as well. He does. It's a double kill for Envy now. Luna wants fly, fly, trying for the TP, but Universe is there with the Burrow Strike. Fnatic clean up. Which was just a bit of a mess from OG in that kill attempt. I'll oh, bet, of course, the, the one holding the cheese. If they, they can person with the stun control. Uh, incredibly unlikely with the stuns that they have. They'll try jump in with the Dream Call. He's only down onto one of them. They got the silence onto two. Fnatic pushing in. Ahmed has been brought down to half health, but he just turns towards No Tail. Chaotic offering use to try to hold back Fnatic, but instantly this rip through the golem. They rip through No Tail. They've lost two on OG. Fnatic moving in for more. Fly gets caught out. The glimpse back is there, bringing Mad into the midst of the action. The chaos that Fnatic are reveling in as they pick up a triple kill. GG is called. Jerex and S4 being forced back to base. They'll get an ultra kill it. We'll see where they do get the effective rampage as S4 is blinking himself away, but the game is already over. Fnatic. Got to be careful. Fnatic looking for any sort of catch. They get the vision. They'll get the drag back with the glimpse onto the Bane. No tell. Repels fly, fly. Going for the Fiend's grip, actually. And with Seb and S4, they've got a good chance. No. Snowball's there from DJ. By some time for Universe, is it enough? No. The Fisher comes through. The magic damage from S4 will finish off the Pugna. Arbed striking back. The flat ca cannon hits. Bringing No tell and S4 down pretty low. DJ close to the gap with a punch. No tell. Pots the purification, but the root comes in from the bear. Envy has the control. S4 will fall as well as Envy claims the double. Double kill. Seb gets himself back to base. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. something huge. They need a massive echo slam. Can I catch a vision of them. All right, it's going to know what's going on. S4 is going to jump in. They're looking at what's the disrupt release, but the BKB's out from Arbet. In fact, the life train buying time for Pi to survive. The snowball comes in straight away on Seb on the high ground. Arbet keeping the flat kids going. The GA comes out from a no-tail, but they've lost Seb on the DK. They've got S4 too. gets the stun, and indeed Envy, he's just hitting the base. He doesn't care about fighting. He wants to take objectives. He wants to take the game. He cleans up the second set of racks. Three dead on OG. s force chase down as well. He's glimpsed back into the clutches of Arbet in universe. His uni picks up a oh, triple. Yeah. GG is called in game two. Position from the yeah, so they're going to make this move on mid. Jump on. But so we're a step away. They are going to be able to gl glimpse in. Bello thinking about it. He's going to throw out the roar onto the Sand King. Trying to stop him and let Roya get out of here. But he's still going to be caught. The Beastmaster's going to just try and do whatever he can with these axes. But it's not enough to deter Newbie. They just keep on pushing forward. Now dropping Febby back to Earth. They're going to focus on him with the Spirit Siphon. And Kinetic Field not quite latching him in. So they may be able to catch him here. Yule's Tempter slows him down a little bit further. Diving deep into these Tier 4 Towers. Meanwhile, Ami Slash actually takes out the Beastmaster. MP is here though. Nice use there. Uh, that defensive SEC is going to be able to protect himself as long as possible. Back into the healing ward he goes. All the wrapped up here is they get the stun on the Rioya and the silence. And no imprisonment is going to be able to protect him here. The rest of the team trying to get here to protect the OT, but he just can't seem to make it out. Finally, uh -huh. imprisonment goes down. He can blink away from this one. Faith is taking a lot of damage. Meanwhile, the OT does manage to blink farther back, but they caught him with the Brewmaster. They managed to get him with the Earth Panda stun. Doobie's going to be run down by Mugi. Well, now MP, it's hers, his turn to feel the wrath of Kaka. Epicenter goes down, but they actually have the counter vision to be able to spot Kaka underneath the sandstorm. So MP pops the BKB, takes him on. Mookie. 
Finally able to get that one kill on the support while the rest of his team just cleans up some of the back line. Elder Titan goes down next. Mubi has an Omni Slash still. And Iggy really wants this uh, kill onto the Gyrocopter. He's killing all the creeps first. Making sure MP has no way to be able to disjoint this Omni Slash. But if the Gyrocopter won't fight, I'll just take another lane of racks. Another jump forward, there's the Omni Slash, slowing him down as well with the Brewmaster. Beastmaster managed to get off a stun on Illusion. Again, Moogie is able to get through with his real hero, takes them all the way down to the fountain and brings him down beyond godlike for Moogie. A steady carry for Newbie is exactly what Moogie is. He's been for so long. Here, he's just carrying the game for them. Febby gonna be slowed down with the Spirit Side finish, just kill after kill. Your Immortals, they are just feeding the beast. That is SCC and Moogie. Roya. Able to slow down at least one hero here, trying to go for the Brewmaster, but he does have that missed percentage chance on him. Moogie's gonna challenge him, gets on right on top of him with the Blink Dagger. And again, just forcing the OD back time and time again. The Imprisonment up barely in time. Might be able to blink back to the fountain, but it is just... Couldn't really get the good vision for a glimpse back. They brought MP here to be able to fight this one. And KP, he actually goes back into this one, and he should be caught as a result. Glimpse back into where he originally blinked from, and that's not a position that Immortals want to be able to take a fight with. SCC here already out with a stone gaze. Can't turn and fight him. In fact, MP is already taking so much physical damage. And look at Mookie. He's going to jump in. Has that primal spring ready to go, as well as jump in with a bounce strike. He'll catch Dubu as well. Nice toss in from KP to secure the kill onto the support. That's three down from Immortals. And it looks like this is going to be just just another one-sided game to Yo-Yo, though. Might go in for this, the monkey. Nice is um, low. Here's he the can actually kill Moogie. There's going to be able to burst him with the flames. Can he go for more? 18 to 17,000 gold lead. Managed to catch MP. Toss back into Telekinesis. No, no Telekinesis there. Must not have been able to spot him out. Glimmer Cape is going to try and protect KP oh, from this. Turns around, but now with the Stone Gaze, MP has no way out of this one. Needs to be able to get in fast inside that creep, but they denied him even that with the Telekinesis Velo. He's going to be stomped up. Looks like Febby is going to be able to protect Velo long enough to be able to get the TP out. Toss is actually not going to land on him. Here comes the Dragon Knight going for Kaka. Managed to get him thanks to a double damage. Looks at Faith, but realizing that the rest of the team fight is lost too badly, he needs to get out of here. 10 seconds till his Shadow Blade is back up, and that is about 5 seconds too long. He's going to be stunned by KP and Moogie. Brought down four heroes down from Immortals, all in exchange for a Rubik kill. He doesn't even have the Aegis. This is a get out of my game right here. He really is, and he's just trying to end it. Velo is going to be tossed into this one. Does have an Ethereal Blade to protect him a little bit, but the Kinetic Yield is keeping him from retreating. Earth Splitter managed to prop a lot of these heroes. Deuce is getting a little bit low, but MP can't focus on him. Instead, he wants to be able to go for some of the squishy heroes like KP. Maybe Faith instead. Can't lock onto anybody, though. The Scotty is going to start slowing down some of these heroes. Almost got the stomp off, but not fast enough. And now KP goes back in on low HP. He doesn't really care, wants to be able to just catch these cores, so SCC can tear right through them with that Divine Rapier. And that is indeed get out of my game territory. Newbie will 2-0 Immortals. Look at that. That's how Tom enters in, did have the Aphotic Shield upon him. Now look for the Nightmare, onto the Abaddon. They want to try and finish off at least the Bear. It's getting pretty low, and they will kill it. Get the 300 gold bounty, but it cost them the life of Ghosting. The boat's coming through. Oh, Yoku will get caught out. Midborn and Puppy right click him down. He should take down here to the end, and he does indeed. Miposhka gets the Fiend's Grip off, but overall, Empire, they've lost two. Miposhka, he'll be chased down by Puppy. They've got the X mark back from Midborn, dragging him in. Cast down Maledict out to FN with the Death Ward as well. Empire, they've lost three. They'll lose FN as well. Double kill for Yapsor. The track over. kills rolling in as well with that. There's a 14k lead. Add the racks on top of that. And they're just healing everybody up. They've got big track money there. 5k gold lead now. Well, Ghostick, he's trying to push down top tower with that Beastmaster. But look at Secret. They're just threatening high ground here with this Catapult and the Curse. Look at this blink. Ace. Immediately on top of Mimok, Miposhka, making sure that there's no Ice Blast for this defense. FN has the Orchid finished. He's looking towards the Bouncy, but with the shield, Puppy's going to be fine. In fact, he's turning towards Nyx. Nyx goes for the Ray Fire Blast onto the Bouncy Hunter. Jump forward from Ace, gets the grab back onto Ghosting. Ghosting gets the Roar out, but he's stunned up himself. Sonic Wave flies in, but it's not enough to finish off Neva Ace. They've got the Burrow Strike, they're looking for Ace, but he's pretty tanky on the CK. They're trying their best to finish him off. Ace still alive, though. FN has to blink out. And now Secret turning towards Nyx. They've got the ultimate. He is going to reincarnate, but the They've stun got is lift. out. They're going to hit him with the stun, holding him in place. They'll come back forward. Track is out onto this Wraith King. Fada just chasing him now. They'll go for the Ice Blast on Fada. Will kill him off, but they've lost the Wraith King. They do get mid one as well. Empire managing to make secret play for this aggressive, aggressive move from them as Puppy also gets cut down. Empire will get secret out of the base. Secret. 
Still got the Phantasm available. Find FN. They've got the control. But the BKB comes out in time. Burrow Strike as well. They're trying to turn the best they can. Ice Pass does come in across on Safada. But Ace just rips through Yoku. Sonic Wave comes out. Ace falling rather low. Mid one. Zips in, zips out with the Icarus dive. Nyx is going to tick out once. Reincarnate is popped. Aquatic Shield onto Ace. Secret's starting to back up. They want Ace's heart regen to tick in before they re-engage, or maybe not. They just see an opportunity to jump in straight away. Ace has got the control. They take down FN. The Phoenix Sun is going to be successful as the Sun comes out. Goes to out in place, as well as Nyx on the Wraith King. This board end is going to be a team wipe. Secret cleanup. There is nothing that Empire can do at this stage to put a stop.